The Industrial Technology Research Institute honored five new laureates on Tuesday, including the first woman to receive the distinction. She is Onward Therapeutics chairwoman Grace Ye, the developer of a drug for pancreatic cancer. Other honorees include Micronix chairman Min Wu and MediaTek vice chairman Rick Tsai. The group was selected for outstanding contributions to society and the development of industrial technology. Five new E3 laureates take to the stage to accept a medal and frame plaque from President Tsai Ing-wen. They include Macronix Chairman Min Wu, MediaTek Vice Chairman Rick Tsai, Grace Ye of Onward Therapeutics, and Yang Pan Shi, former president of National Taiwan University. Enormous progress has been made in COVID therapies. Antibodies are one area of development. Another is small molecule drugs. We have seen many small molecule drugs achieve very good results in clinical trials. There have also been some nucleic acid therapies that have done quite well. So in the near future, we'll be seeing the emergence of some very good drugs. Last year, as COVID-19 ravaged the globe, Yang and his team developed a decoy antibody that can block viral infection. Their research was published in an international journal and has obtained a provisional patent in the U.S. At the E-Tree Laureate Ceremony, Yang said the world was racing to develop novel therapeutics for the post-COVID era. He urged the government to step up procurement and negotiate production deals for new oral drugs. In the biotech sector, Etri honored the developer of a pancreatic cancer drug, Taiwan's first cancer drug to be authorized for market by the U.S. FDA. Grace Ye, chairwoman of Onward Therapeutics, is the first female laureate in Etri's history. Ye noted that there were many other outstanding women in the field. When I received the news, I was very surprised. First, I was honored to be chosen as a laureate. Then I discovered that I was the first woman ever, and I was even more surprised because there are a great many outstanding female leaders in Taiwan's technology sector. Between now and 2030, our hope is to deploy the technologies we have today to proactively pave the way for development, for instance, in sectors like solar energy, renewables, and transport electrification. After the laureate ceremony, E-Tree's president presided at a forum exploring pathways for reaching net zero emissions by 2050. The event heard strategies for green energy development, industrial transformation, and the reduction of carbon emissions.